So we're back. And you've worked your shell stitch all the way across. And you have now decided which is your top and which is your bottom. And then you have worked your SC all the way along the one edge that's going to now be the yoke edge. The standard rule is that you work two SC per DC and one SC in every SC all the way across. But also remember that we need to get it in multiples as required. Our multiples for this portion of the yoke is in multiples of five plus one. Okay. So now that you have your stitches in hand, we'll start with the first stitch. I start with the chain one as always. DC in the first stitch, skip two stitches, two SC, and work a V stitch in the next stitch. A V stitch is a DC, chain one, and DC, all in the same stitch. Skip two, uh, next two SC, and work a DC, chain one, DC or a V stitch in the next stitch. Skip the next two stitches and a V stitch in the next stitch. And that's what you'll do all the way to the edge, two, and you're working a V stitch in the next stitch. All the way till you come to the last stitch, skip the last two stitches, you'll work a DC in that last stitch. Turn. As usual, I work my turning chain. You work a DC in the first DC. You skip the next DC, and now you're working only in all of the chain in the chain one spaces. You'll be working three DC. You'll skip the DC and you'll work in that chain one space, three DC. In that chain one space, three DC. DC in the next chain one space, just keeping all the DCs in between and working only in the chain one spaces till you've come to the end. That's the last DC and you just work a DC in that last DC. Turn it around. Chain one, turning chain, work a DC in your first stitch. Skip the next stitch and work a V stitch in the next stitch. Skip the next two stitches and a V stitch in that next stitch. So if you see what we've done, you're working a V stitch in the center of that three. So even if you don't calculate, you just know that you have to skip two and because the third stitch is going to be the center of the next three. Got it? Skip two, one, two, and into that. All the way till the end. Skip that last stitch and work a DC in that last DC. Okay. The following row, you'll repeat this row, which is you're going to be working just three DC in all of these chain one spaces of the V stitch. And the following row, again, it's your V stitch. And that's your pattern for your yoke. Have fun.